Business owners say they're fed up. This week could mark their third power shutoff. So instead of stores open with their lights on, like you see behind me, it'll look more like a ghost town. It's a busy night at Three Forks Bakery and Brewing Company. But even with all these customers, it's not enough. We may have a loss for the year. Depends on how this all unfolds over the, you know, the next handful of months here. Like so many businesses in downtown Nevada City, they've lost thousands during the PG&E public safety power shutoffs. We estimate about $18,000 in revenue. Um, we were closed for about two and a half days and then um, probably somewhere around 4,000 in product, which is actually on the small side. The mayor of Nevada City, Renette Senum, says this is an economic issue. They need to actually declare a state of emergency for these regions, and they need to allow the businesses to get a 0% loan so they can get their foot out of the grave that's already been made for them in the last two blackouts. But she says it doesn't seem like the other leaders are listening. We're calling the 800 numbers, we're calling the CPUC, we're calling pg and &E, we're calling our senators, our representatives, and they're pretty much all saying so sad, too bad. Business owners say they understand why pg and &E is cutting power, but they need more clarity. 